Okay, today we're going to be talking about creating full unit PLCs in AutoCAD Electrical 2016. Uh, the reason I see you doing this, if you use something like a remote I.O. block, possibly some pneumatic I.O., and you want to identify it with geometry that looks like th what you're installing in the field, um, you're going to probably need to create it as a full unit. Uh, you're going to notice um, today when I do these that I have removed, for the ones that I'm going to insert here, I've removed my screw connections, and that is because AutoCAD Electrical full unit um, wire connections that we put in will come with the screw connections, no way around it, so we need to get rid of that geometry if we... Um, uh, before we insert it. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we will just do like we do with any symbol. We'll go to Symbol Builder. From here we'll choose Horizontal Parent because there isn't an attribute template for um, PLCIO and we'll have to do some manual um, configuration on our own. So we're going to select our objects. We're going to select a pick point and I'll select a pick point maybe right there. And I'm going to hit OK. So this brings us into our attribute editor. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my project manager. Uh, give me a little more room. All right, before we throw uh, our attributes in, we can do it afterwards, of course, but uh, one thing that we'll want to do is change our uh, family. We need to insert PLC IO as the family for it. From here, I'll go ahead and select all of them, insert my <coughs> typical attributes. Uh, the big change or difference in uh, creating a standard electrical component in your PLC component will be your wire connections. We are uh, typically using left none, top none. Instead of that, we're going to go down to the others. From the others, we're going to choose a fixed PLC. From here, we're going to get uh, a few more attributes than what we um, typically see. Over on the right, what's nice about it being in this um, dialog box, we can go ahead and choose four of them. Click over to the side, you're going to see four populate. Tag one is going to be our first I.O. point all the way down to tag four. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and clean these up to the address we want, or we can choose to do that later, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just insert. This is going to insert all four of my fixed points. So my first one I'm going to set here, second one here, third one here, and my fourth one. Notice that um, a lot more attributes are brought in with it. Some of these, like my tags, these are going to be where my descriptions are, or I'm sorry, where my IO addresses are, are going to need to move. So there will be some additional cleanup on these points. Um, from there, I'll probably go ahead and throw in a few on the other side. I will just, uh, I'm going to pick the screw connection. That way it looks just like the other ones I've got. I'll just choose rights. And I'll choose four of those also. Okay, and I'll go ahead and insert those. Uh, we'll just insert them over here just to show you the difference. There we go. And after we're done with that, we can go back to our, our uh, Symbol Builder Dynamic toolbar done. Okay, this, since we chose horizontal parent but we didn't choose a family, it comes in as horizontal device. We have to change that to PLC IO. Anything after the underscore we can put in there, like if I wanted to I can put automation direct. If you need the image you can use the image to create your icon uh, shortcut. I'm not going to do that for the one I'm doing here. And I'll browse out to where I want to save my block. I'm just going to save it directly under my C. And from here, I will go ahead and hit OK. And I'll choose No to insert it. So now I'm going to go over to my demo. Of course, if your project manager tab's not up, we can go to Project to turn it back on. From here, all I'm going to do is go to my icon menu. Um, since it's not on here yet, I'll choose Browse. I'll go to C Drive. If we go all the way down, I should have a PLC I.O. That I did not have. Hit open. It's going to come in on just like what we would expect. If I'm really good at placing these, it should do some trimming of the wires for me, just like it has done. Um, if that makes sense for your power scheme, great. If not, you're going to have to clean those up anyways. Okay, so we notice the four I.O. points are in here that I that I set up. Um, if I want to, I can go ahead and clean up just the first one. So I'll put the addressing that I would like to see in there. If I get out of the cell, it's going to ask me my addressing and automatically fixes the, the remaining one. Each one of these we can put our own descriptions in just like we uh, can on any other PLC. If we go to catalog lookup 
and catalog lookup again, we should be able to put any information in here that we need for our, our PLC IO.